Anyone have a toddler who thinks that bedtime is the perfect time to recount every detail of the day? Or maybe you dread bedtime. The evening is coming and you can think, oh my gosh, I have no idea how long this is gonna take. Or perhaps you are laying in your child's bed after bedtime, staring longingly at the door because you're trapped as they fall asleep. If that is you, this video today is for you. I am going to share with you the ideal toddler bedtime routine to help your child feel connected, like they've had enough one-on-one -on -one time with you. We can end the night fun and you can walk out the room and they are ready for a good night of sleep. Hey there, I'm Becca Campbell, your pediatric sleep consultant. Welcome to the Little Z Sleep YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe because every week I am here to help you create a happy, healthy, and well-rested family because sleep is real, especially for the toddlers. In today's video, I am going to share with you the really simple solution to help your child stay on track for bedtime. They will get into bed, fall asleep well, all because of these bedtime steps. You might already be doing some, but I guarantee you the middle one is gonna be the most surprising. So what I'm getting ready to share with you guys is the exact bedtime routine that I teach inside of our courses, that I have taught for years, that we do with our own kids, and I know it's going to help you. So let's dive in to the four steps that end with your child in bed and you walking out the door so they fall asleep. So before I get into the four steps, I just have to answer this frequently asked question. What age is a toddler? Well, the bedtime routine that I am teaching today actually applies from 13 months all the way up to like three years old, even beyond. So that's a wide range. And I want you to know that because if you have this young toddler baby, right? Like 13, 14, 15 months old, you may not think of them as a toddler, but they are. And this is their bedtime routine. Okay. So think 13 months up to three years old and kind of maybe beyond, but here we go. Step one is the bath. There's actually a reason that we have bath time during your child's bedtime routine. For babies, it's that first instant like cue, okay, water sensation, ready to get, you know, ready to go to sleep soon. For your toddler, they know the difference between day or night. They are not confused on that. But this is obviously the time of day to just straight up clean them up because they're probably gross from playing outside or maybe being in daycare or things like that. Like they need to get a good bath in. It's also a great time, I find, for the other partner to be involved in the bedtime routine. Maybe, and this is normal, the toddler kind of switches and now prefers dad or now prefers mom, like whoever they prefer during the baby time, sometimes that's swapped during the toddler years, which is normal. So sometimes I like to have the other parent involved if they've maybe been out of the picture for a little bit or not as hands-on during bedtime routine. It's a great time to have that other parent involved and enjoy the bath. Now, bath is really only like five to seven minutes. You could get into a longer bath if you have an older child or you're bathing multiple siblings, things like that. But bath time is not like lighting candles or playing soft music. Like it's fun. They're going to splash around. They're going to have a good time. So enjoy it. But we're going to take a bath. We're going to get cleaned up, play for a few minutes. Then we're going to get out. And step two is brush teeth, go potty, jammies, like all that stuff. Okay. So it's getting the body ready for sleep. Jammies, brush teeth, uh, maybe go potty one more time. Maybe they have a pull up, whatever the deal is, you get their body ready for sleep. Now, here is the surprising step. Are you ready? You're probably not gonna guess what I say next. The third step in your toddler's bedtime routine is playtime. Yes, play. I want you to go to their room. It's only gonna take them like 20 seconds for them to kind of get it in their mind what's about to happen. But I want you to go to their room and I want you to sit on the floor and I want you to say, okay, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna play blocks? Do you wanna do puzzles? Do you wanna wrestle? You probably won't have to give them maybe even like two choices. They'll instantly be like, yes, I've got some ideas. Let's have fun. I want you to play during bedtime routine. This always surprises parents because normally what we think is that, well, toddlers are really difficult to put down to bed. So why would I rile them up? Why would I make them more hyper? Well, there's a couple of teaching points within this. One, I want you and your child to have this last connection time, last one-on-one -on -one time before they get into their bed. It really helps them feel more secure because they were able to have your full attention. So that means 
You don't have your phone during this time. You don't have distractions during this time. It's just you and your child in the room enjoying bedtime routine, playing together as the last step of the day. Now the hardest part, maybe not the hardest part, but you cannot go into their bedroom with an idea of what you wanna do. I know, I'm guilty of this myself. If I'm feeling rushed, I'm gonna be like, we're gonna read this book because it's really fast, so let's get going. But don't do that. I want you to go to their room. You might wanna set a timer or just let them know that we have five minutes to play. Short and sweet, five to seven minutes, let's sit down and let's have some play time or let's wrestle or let's stand up and have a dance party. Literally, whatever they wanna do, you are going to do it. I have a link below. I share this inside of our toddler sleepy coaching program, but this type of play from Hand in Hand Parenting, I didn't invent this, this is called play listening. And you essentially want to be listening to your child as they interact with you and play with you. We're giving your child five to seven minutes of authority. And to them, that's amazing. They don't ever get to be like in charge of things. They don't ever get to be in control of things. And now we're just handing them the reins and saying, what do you wanna do? And they're gonna figure it out really quick. Let's play this, let's do this, let's listen to this. Fine, whatever, as long as it's not screen time, okay? So no shows, no like little movie clips, no YouTube clips, nothing like that. This is just purely you and your child, or yes, it is okay to have multiple people in the room if they so choose, if they want to. This is their last little bit. Here's the final bonus part of the step. Toddlers have got to have every bit of energy out of them before they go to bed, okay? They are unlike you and I who need to have like wind down time, okay? They don't need to wind down. They need to get it out of them. And so for your toddler, they need to have these like big emotions, big things happen right before they get in bed so they feel like they're ready to go to sleep. I know that sounds counterintuitive maybe to what you've been doing, but give it a try tonight. So we've done bath, we've done get their body ready for sleep, we now have our play time and then ding, 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 the timer goes off, which I highly suggest because never met a toddler who was like, okay, cool, I'm done playing now. Then our fourth step is a book. So I want you to read one book, two books, whatever your house rule is. I don't like to get past two books unless they're super short, but we can have the rule of two books and we're done or set the timer again, that's fine too. And now it's time to get in the bed or crib for sleep. So four steps for a bedtime routine. That's it from start to finish. Bath, brush your teeth, get your body ready, jammies on. Um, we're gonna play, we're gonna read our book and now we're gonna get in bed. Now, I have a secret to tell you. Okay, there is a reason that I teach this bedtime routine through and through all the time inside of our programs and then I'm telling you. Bedtime routine is the step. It is the key for a good night of sleep. Did you notice that I didn't say anything in that bedtime routine about, okay, now it's time to get in your child's bed and rub their back to sleep. If you're new to little Z's, I don't believe and I don't want you at this point to have your child conditioned that you have to help them fall asleep. They can handle it on their own. They are totally capable of this. So bedtime routine is this magical, mystical, it's not really magical, but it's just this amazing opportunity for you to invest in your child, for you to do these routine and consistent steps that end with them getting into the bed. And I can't tell you how many times families have then come back and said, oh my gosh, this is so much easier because my child knows the routine. They know the consistent path of what we're doing. Even if these steps have been new for you or this is like old news, you just kind of needed a refresher, we have a free routine chart for you. You can choose which color or black and white or whatever you like, you have your child choose. And I want you to print off these bedtime routine charts. You could slip them in a little um, page protector and use dry erase markers. You could use stickers. I don't care, whatever it is. Now, this probably isn't gonna connect with the younger baby toddler crowd, like 13 to 17 months are probably just gonna go over their head. But around 18 months, you could probably start to just go through, okay, we do this, we do this, and look at the pictures as your guide. And as you go through it, check off, we've done this part of the routine, we're doing this part, and the playtime is in here for you. So I love, love, love a good routine chart. If you've been feeling like things are falling off the rails, if bedtime takes over 30 minutes, because this entire journey from start to finish is just 30 minutes, and this routine chart will help you really narrow things down. And a kind of bonus of all of this is that your child is gonna love, again, being in control of something, being able to put those stickers on their chart and praise them along the way. So grab that in the links below so you can check out our toddler bedtime routine chart. You guys start this tonight 
tonight and keep me posted how it's going. And if there is anything in this routine that maybe you've already been doing and you love it, I wanna know what is something you love about your child's bedtime routine. Um, tell us below, I'd love to hear. Sweet dreams, see you next time. Thank you.